Okay, we are on week two, okay, which is week one and week two. We're doing uh, different exercises. Saint Jorlene, good morning. Oh, good, good, good. We got Jorlene. Um, if you have your sheets, which you should have your sheets, don't forget, keep track. We're going to look back at this on week four, this exact workout. We're going to look at this for week four. So write down your numbers. And I don't care what your numbers are. Again, you are competing with yourself. You are going to go your strongest that you can for eight reps. And again, you should feel it on those last two. And it doesn't matter if you're grabbing tens and I'm grabbing 30s. It doesn't matter. It's your weight. And we're going to go for total failure. And this is also going to help us be able to determine what our weight should be when we are on week four. So if you've got like high, high, high reps um, for your last, very last set, then we know, okay, you can actually go a little heavier, you know, from that first set. So we're going to, oh, Diane. All right. Good morning. We got Diane, Jorlene, Jennifer. Oh yeah. Jenny girl. I'm so happy. So um, we're going to need a chair for a sit and stand. You can use your couch, whatever you want. But we're going to do a sit down and then we're going to lift up our feet and then stand. Okay. If you have a chair, this is great too for modifiers um, to use the, the chair. You can go real heavy and all you have to do is just stand up and then sit back down. It's like a perfect squat. Um, and a mat, we're going to get warmed up to our legs first. I always like to get the legs over with. So... Here we go. Oh, Leslie, same challenge as last week. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Okay. All right, wait, my music's acting kooky. Hang on. It's not, it sounds like it's on fast forward. Hang on. All right, I don't know. I guess I'll have to go with this one. Okay, and we're gonna need a slider. Pull your hamstring back, pull your elbows back. Four, five, six, seven. Cross over the knees, elbow. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight hamstring, eight knees. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Swing those arms. We're doing shoulders too. Two, three, four. Eight hamstring. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Last set of knees. Six. Seven. Eight. Now side to side squat. Get the legs warmed up. Step side to side. Deep squat. Butt comes down. Bend the knees. Now stay here. Pulse. Four more. Four. Now turn to the side. Right here. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. One more. Now center wide. Pulse. Two. Toes are up. Face this side. Down. Up. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Hang on. We're going to... Now just alternate to uh, lunge back. Go as deep as you can. Pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Switch it out. Eight, four, three, two, one. Wide feet. Reach down and lunge. Push the butt back. Get the inner thighs warmed up. Eight, seven. Six, three, 
three, two, one. Stay here. Butt goes back. Butt goes back. I got a hair. Five, six, seven, eight. Other side. Eight, seven, six. I already feel like I'm working legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in. Now just lean over. Kick. Really flex this right here. Get your hamstring warm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right here, open and close. Up and down, pull the elbows. Two, three, four, five, eight. Circle. Okay, we're going for it. All right, so first one up, low plane Bulgarian. Now there's a little riser here if you want. It doesn't have to be huge. I just have one, one riser on here. And if you don't want to do it elevated, you don't have to. But we're going to be hanging down and we're going to be doing this. Just like this. So if you have no stop, this knee comes down, this doesn't move. Just go right along, right along. This dips, this does nothing. It just follows. Okay, I'm gonna grab whew, 20s. This is gonna be hard. I can adjust my weight, we haven't done this one for this rep. So I'm gonna grab two, you grab one, up to you. Now remember, stay sturdy on your step. This leg's behind. We're gonna hang the arms straight down and just go down and then back up. Down. We're aiming down. Two. Sit 
lower to make it harder. Recovery up. We have bicycle abs. Everyone knows the bicycle abs. Modify however you need to. We have one minute. Okay, here we go. Now, modifiers. Watch me. Bend those knees. Tap that foot down. Cross it over. This is modified. Or straight out. Crunch, 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 crunch. Cross over. Shoulder to knee. We have three sets of four. right now. You have 30 seconds for the next set. Okay? So, I'm going to stick with what I had because that was quite sticky at the end there. I wasn't really sure. So, ha. Huh. Okay. Pick your starting leg. Look at your step, or look at your, you're using risers. Make sure you can see them. Okay. Again, push through that front foot. Down, arms hang down. We're targeting glute and hamstring. Two. We're doing push and pull, fronts and backs. So quadriceps are on the first exercise, or second exercise. Hamstrings, glutes on this one. Ah. One more. Ah. Ah. Okay. I'll just show you a different view on the next one. Okay, hop this one forward a little bit. Remember, flat back too. Don't rock your shoulders. Here we go. Okay. Four, 
three, two, done. I'm starting to feel it now, okay. So I liked my challenge that I did lowering it, and I think I'm gonna lower it one more. Because again, I'm, I'm pushing myself. <laughs> you push yourself how you need to. But when I come to that riser part, I'm actually gonna take off one more. All right. Okay, remember, don't round the shoulders. Don't do this. What? Oh no, I'm not raising this one. I'm lowering that one on the next one. Just sit and stand. I'm gonna lower it one more. Okay. I'm keeping this one the same. This is the same. All right. Grab your dumbbells. Hey, reps. Yeah, this one is totally okay. So first put your foot on the center of your step or your risers. You can use a staircase. Again, shoulders are back, not rounded. And you go, arms straight down at the sides. Dip the back knee. Push in the front foot, three. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, two. Oh. Three. Yeah, sometimes, Balance gets lost. Especially if you try to go too fast. Alright. Two. Make sure you're pressing through that front foot. Man, oh, I like that one. Okay, I'm going down one more riser. So, I'm leaving those two there. Oh, all right, catch your breath. Okay, go. Oh yeah. Momentum, three, four, five, six, don't swing those arms, seven, use your quads, eight, okay, so, do you see how we just figured that out? Oh, Stacy and Martha are on. Okay. Obviously, lowering the, 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 the sit is going to make it harder. That definitely was harder. Okay, here we go. Last set of bicycles. Let's do it. Here we go. Go. Keep that upper body lifted. Squeeze. Think about your core, not just kicking your feet and going as fast as you can. Crunch and squeeze. We're working abs every day. Every day. It's our challenge. The whole month. Don't squeeze your neck up. Don't pull on your neck. It's there just to support your head. Modify or take breaks as you need to. We have 10 seconds left. It's total failure time. Last set. So, whew, catch your breath. I'm gonna put my rice back on. Remember, here's no pointers while we're taking our recovery. This knee 
dips down in the back. Just dip. Keep this body. Look at my back. Straight. Look at my neck. Straight. Just hang the arms down. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay? Woo! Push through the front heel. All right. We still got 10 seconds. I'm taking it. All right. And as soon as you've lost your form, you are going to stop. Write that number down. In the center of your step. Hop it forward if you can. Again. Here we go. Bend that back knee to go down. Two. Push to the front heel. Six. I'm shaking. Ah! Oh! When you know you can't even almost get out of it, I have to stop. I'm seeing little birdies and sweat is coming down. I'm recovering to catch my breath. You get out of breath when you're working large muscle group. Okay. I remember, goes to show you how you progress with strength. I remember in like 2007, I was grabbing two tens. Two tens. And I was like dying. Here we go. You will build up. It's a progress. Whoa! 
it's really slippery. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna have to be careful. Okay, I got my flexi. I'm gonna grab 30. All right. Control that slide. Where's my 30? Oh. There we go. Lean down, pull up. Three. Four. Five. Buck goes back. Six. Two more. Woo! Oh, it's hurting then. Woo! Eight. Oh, man. All right. Other side. Again, butt goes out. Core already. So again, core 
day is our TMC for core. You know that, right? That's TMC for core because it's all detail core work. All right. Slider. Man, these new sliders sure do work good on my little plastic so I don't have to go over there anymore. Um, they didn't work so well on my buffet. Trying to move my buffet out of the room on the uh, carpet pad did not work. So, all right. Same hand as the sliders in. All right, go. Beam it down. Push the butt back. Stand straight up. Two, stand straight up. Three. Four. Woo. Make sure you're looking at your knee. It's bending in the same direction as your toe. Three. Oh boy, that is so slippery. Maybe 
I should put, I don't know. I'm thinking about sliding my buffet, how am I gonna get it out of the, I'm gonna have to empty the whole supper out. That's gonna suck. Oh. I hate remodeling. And we're under construction like none other right now. Good form, shoulders back. Don't round up, five. Nice straight back, six. Push through this leg, the support leg. Seven, come straight up. Eight. Ah! Ah! Oh, I stopped on and on. I'm writing it down, I got 13. I'm gonna up my weight next time. I got over 12, I'm up in my way. All right. And I think what I'll do is, I'll add hand weight instead of a bigger dumbbell. I hate having to hang on to the dumbbell. Much easier if it's hanging from my wrist. All right. Remember, pushing your support leg, shoulders back, flat back. Make sure your back is nice and straight, don't round it. Not gonna line it with your spine, too. Ten. Oh. Oh. I need my other leg. Is stronger. Oh, I'm putting it there. Oh. All right. Oh. Legs are over. Yay, legs. Woohoo. All right. All right. We're working fronts and backs of delts, tops and bottoms of delts. Leslie. Yeah. Oh, poo. Thank you. I got excited. I got excited. It's okay. We're going to do this curtsy thing. Okay. Oh. Yay. More legs. Woohoo. Oh. oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. Straight posture. Straight down. So on these four moves that we just did for legs. Four. I had one leaning down and one straight up. Five for each one. Six, it targets differently. Seven. Eight. I don't have a lot more. In the tank, nine. Ah. Oh. breath. All right, as you can see, this is real. Pushing yourself. You're out of breath. You're seeing little birdies. All right, I have to shake it out. You, we're working both legs on each side. So again, a little recovery. You're going to need it. Okay. Again, we we're doing light weights, very light weights and high reps. We wouldn't have this much recovery. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, I feel this one right away, too. Three. I forgot how many I did, Jennifer. I think I did 13. Oh. Isn't it funny? I don't even remember what I did, so now I don't know if I did 
Oh well, you know, hey, we're still working out. Okay. Now can we go to shoulders? Yeah. My favorite. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're doing the scoop. Just scoop your elbows back. Up. Scoop. We're working a little rear delt right there. Rear delt. Front. Okay? I'm gonna grab. Oh boy. I want to say 25. I don't know. I'm gonna find out though. Okay. Oh, here we go. And overhead. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Help support your back. Eight. Okay. Woo. All right, good night. Now we have a W fly. You're gonna bend your elbows. It looks like this if you're looking up above. Up above for me. Make that W. So the elbows are down and you are squeezing the shoulder blades in the back. All right, we're leaning down since we're doing rear. Okay, I'm grabbing 20s. Okay, let's go. Another option that you can you do if you want to, it's just a long lever. You're gonna lighten up your weight though. Okay, here we go. Now, squeeze. Two, three, four. Back in alignment. Eight, oh! Yeah. With that W, you feel that squeeze a lot more. Recovery up. Cross under decline. Now, I can put my foot right up on this, and we're gonna cross under the knee and a spider knee. Cross under a knee, spider knee. We're gonna alternate. I just showed you the modification for standing. If you wanna stand and you're a beginner, cross it over and oblique, okay? Okay, here we go, cross it under. Here we go. 
Yeah. Thank goodness. Last 
set of these. You need to start modifying, do them on the floor or do them in All right, I have to catch my breath because I don't want to throw up when I'm leaning down. All right. Here we go. Than 
to grab too heavy and you can hurt your shoulder and your elbow because of the leverage. So, I'd rather start off lighter if I'm unsure and then I can always go heavier. Again, nothing's gotta be perfect in this program here. All right, we're just doing a constant change up. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fine. I'm already feeling it. Two, don't lock out the elbows. If it's too hard to use tap front, don't do it. Four. Hold those shoulders nice and away from your ears. Five. Six. It's like you're hugging the tree in front. Seven. Oh, arms are shaking. One more. Now, just to show you, my arms were not locked out. Okay. We're gonna do a face down, rear delt, rotator cuff exercise. So, leaning down. Pretend there's a pole, a broomstick, tying your elbows to the broomstick, okay? Do this, okay? Flip it up. You're flipping it up just to here. So if you were standing up, it would be flipping it straight up by the ears. I'm grabbing eight. Again, if I want to go heavier, I can go heavier on the next. I don't want to injure myself or go too heavy, and I'm going to have a rotator cuff issue. All right. Elbows up. Squeeze right there. Oh, yeah, it's a small note. Two. Four, five, keeping the elbows up. Six, seven, oh, eight, it's already burning. Yes, I'm not going heavier. I'm keeping that. Sit up and twist. Grab that dumbbell if you want to. And we're going to sit up and twist with our arms. Then roll back. Sit up, twist the other way. Okay? Modifiers just do a sit up and a tap or a crunch and tap. Crunch, tap. You decide. Here we go. One minute. One. I grabbed my 10. I'm not counting. I was counting, but I'm not going to because I don't have to. I don't know why. I just like to count. We're twisting, we're not chopping at the hip. Oh, I feel this from yesterday's decline. Decline canoe roll. If you don't want to hold the dumbbell out, you can do this. Take that shoulder right out of it and twist. It's up to you. I have a bend in my, in my elbow so that I'm not taking it all on my shoulder. I have a bend in my elbows to make sure I am not getting the twist is my shoulder. And dot. Okay. Oh, let it rest. Woo! All right, guys, we're almost done. We have three sets and it's set. So here's our second set. Make any adjustments you need to right now. All right. I'm going to stay with what I had. Again, don't lock out the arms. Lateral raise. Flip, hug the tree, hug the tree, flip, and lower it. So I don't lock out my arms. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Down. Nice straight butt back. Three, squeeze your butt cheeks to help support your lower back. Four, drop your waist down to ones if you have to. Six, last one. 
Yep, last one. Definitely gets me. All right. Also, if you want to lean over like this, you can do this as well. If you want support on your lower back, lean over your chair or a bench. It's up to you. Okay, good form. Keep the elbows high. Remember, don't drop the elbows. You've got a pole tying your elbows together on the pole. Here we go. Flip. Just to the ears. Just side of the head, too. Eight. Oh. Okay, sit up and twist. One more set, we're done, you guys. We're at one hour right now, so we just went a little over an hour today, okay? But if we needed a lot of recovery time. So, we needed that recovery time. You cannot rush when you're working muscles with heavy weights and doing less reps. You can't go too fast. You want good form. If you go too fast, you Sacrifice your form, and then you have poorly developed muscles or an injury. Roll it up. Twist. Slow is the game. Name of the game. Slow and steady wins the race. Exhale. Twist. Inhale on the way down through the nose. Exhale. And twist. You think about your breathing, tightening your abs. Every time you come up, make that C curve with your hips. Don't do a stiff back. Round, tuck. It's like you're doing a crunch. Every time you sit up, done. Oh, oh, I will gladly take it. I'm all rest. I'm stretching my shoulders while I'm doing this, by the way. I'm just putting my hands back and really squeezing my shoulder blades together. Also, grab your toes, push your toes front, hang on to your toes, open up your shoulder blades, tuck your chin. Oh yeah, let that tension out. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Oh, total failure. Now finally get to eight. I don't care. Eight's great. I want good form though on every rep. Don't shrug your shoulders like this. If it's, you're doing this, you're grabbing too heavy. Keep the shoulders away from those ears. Nice and relaxed. Shoulders back. There we go. One. Two.
have some doms when you do these heavy weights and more sets. So be prepared. Do lots of stretching. Drink lots of water. Just shake these belts out. Okay, let's do a leg stretch. Again, you're gonna feel, oh my gosh, I'm slipping and sliding after you do this. Yes, legs are gonna be sore for a couple days. Go back and forth. Somebody was asking about, um, what do I do to get that twinge out of my knee when it happens? Sometimes under my kneecap, I get this twinge if I just kneel it on it a little weird or something. But I will show you right here. I stretch it. I stretch my knee. I go past my toe and I push my hips forward. And I just stretch it really good. And then I come back and then I go forward again. Push those hips in there. And I'm telling you, we're having flexibility in your knee is actually so much better for not getting a knee injury. So I just slide my hip forward and really push that knee and get that stretch in there. And then sometimes I just take my kneecap and just shake it a little bit, just to make sure it's like all, nothing's tucked underneath there. I know it sounds weird. Not, I mean, I saw my son's buckle tear, um, and it was actually like a piece of skin on uh, tendon flipped over. So I always think about that. <laughs> it grosses me out. Anyway, okay, go to the side. Push the butt back and lean down. Again, I'm sitting on my, I'm, I'm bending my knee and really getting that flexibility of my knee. I'm leaning right on my knee. And then switch it out. This one goes out. Push the butt back. Lean down. Okay, engage the toes. Natural squat right here. Heels are flat on the ground and you're just balancing. Push the arms forward, it'll help counterbalance you. See, when you have good flexibility in your knees, you can do this, no problem. Okay, now slightly round up your back. There we go, circle. All right, you guys, any questions you have, like I said, reach out to me. Make your comments, let me know how you're doing. I'd love to hear about your progression because again, your gains are my gains. That means you're doing an awesome job and I get excited for you. You motivate me, all right? Guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you so much.